This week's destination is Antigua. Antigua is located in the Eastern Caribbean, in the middle of the Leeward Islands. The largest of the Leeward Islands, Antigua is roughly 17 degrees north of the equator. With steady winds, a complex coastline of safe protected harbors, and a protective nearly unbroken wall of coral reef, Antigua is one of the most popular boating destinations in the Eastern Caribbean. Boasting 365 beaches, one for every day of the year according to the locals, exploring this tiny island by water can make for a long and relaxing vacation. Antigua is steeped in history and nowhere is it more prevalent than right here at Shirley Heights. Rising 487 feet above sea level, Shirley Heights provided the perfect lookout point for the Royal Artillery whose job it was to keep watch over this southwestern part of the island. Today, Shirley Heights provides the perfect vantage point of the busy harbors of Falmouth and English Harbour. And if you've arrived here by boat, it's worth the trip up here to see your vessel from a whole different perspective. The island itself is only 14 miles long and 11 miles wide. The highest point is Boggy Peak, towering 1,319 feet above the coastline. Antigua is a boater's paradise, with clear warm waters, predictable winds and hundreds of places to visit close at hand. It's no wonder the charter business is booming here. In fact, Antigua is home to the birth of modern day yacht chartering. We visited during the 38th annual Charter Yacht Show, one of the largest charter shows in the world. And we were lucky to spend some time with the two brothers who started the industry here back in 1949, Desmond and Rodney Nicholson. Well, you see, my father was in the Royal Navy. And um, so his job was to go around the whole of south coast of England and look for nice little anchorages where they could just cram all these, all these um, uh, landing crop into. Anyway, so we came to a place called Stoke Gabriel down in, uh, in Devonshire and there alongside the, in the, in a mud berth was the yacht Molly Hawk, <laughs> looking absolutely beautiful. So he, the, the war was still on, so he called, he found out who the owner was and he called the owner and, uh, and he said, I want to buy your yacht. And uh, we said, Dad's all very well having a yacht, but now uh, why don't we go cruising to the Caribbean? So he said, okay. <laughs> Well, we sailed from Ireland in 1949, and then we were refitting after our oceanic voyage, and some Mill Reef people, that's a, a swanky American club up the road there, they said, gee, I'd love to go for a ride on that schooner. And so we took them for a cruise, and a booze, and a snooze down the islands, and they loved it so much, and that's how our charter business started. Besides pioneering the lucrative charter business in Antigua, the Nicholsons have also left their indelible mark on the island with the restoration of the historic Nelson's Dockyard property. This colorful site was once a British naval base commanded by Admiral Horatio Nelson in the late 1700s. Today, visitors to English Harbour can tour the dockyard to the echoes of Britain's glorious past. From the great cannon wall at the harbour entrance to the once bustling wharf surrounded by an authentic military fortress. We have the officer's quarters which is now a row of high-class shops and this is the naval officer's house and this is now a museum. We have the navy history below and the military history will be above and then we have the saw pit shed and you can still see the inclined plane where they rolled up. And then there are wonderful pillars of the boathouse. And uh, then there's the capstan house, the capstans with which they careened the ships, they pulled the masts over in order to scrape the barnacles off the bottom so the French wouldn't catch up with them. And so that's uh, some of the, the buildings that are very really evident at the moment. And it's just a lovely place to come and see historical buildings and to do shopping here as well. Later in the show, we'll head back to Antigua. You know, Antigua boasts a huge array of specialty shops and restaurants. And of course, the nice thing is that most of them are congregated right around the harbor. So you don't have too far to go to find out what you want here on the island. But you know, today we're on a special quest. We're looking for some authentic Antiguan cuisine. And we've got some local knowledge. The chef on Animal House has told us a shop where we can get the best Antiguan roti on the island. 
Well, this is it, the place I've been looking for, Grace Before Meals, serving fish, pizzas, and what I've been looking for, roti. Hey, how are you? Hi. Welcome to Grace Before Meals. Thanks. Are you Grace? Yes, I am Grace. Oh, fabulous. I'll get oh, you yes. personally. Can you make me up uh, a meal of chicken roti? Sure, I could. Great. Will it take long? No, it will take you about five, six minutes. Perfect. Let me make sure this is wrapped properly and serve you with a nice mango chutney on the top. This is really good. Yes, thank you. Now, you're reputed to serve the best roti on the island. I know you're going to say that that's true, but what I want to know is why do you have that reputation? Well, I did not get make that reputation myself. My customers came in and they gave me that reputation. And all over the world you'll hear people coming in and saying whether on the yachts or by the aircraft, they will say, oh, Grace, we heard a lot about you. They would call them by names, they would say, oh, whether Tom, Dick or Harry, somebody came and said, oh, you got the best, we got to try it. I should show bet, give it a try. There go you. Well, you know what, they're right. This is really, really good. Well, thank you very much. Can I get another plate? I'm going to divide this in another roll-up for my friend. Sure, no problem. And finish it off. It's a big roti fam. Antigua is a fairly small island, and it's easy to explore by car in a day or two. But you have to remember its British roots and take care to drive on the left side of the road. You can travel from balmy beach to mountain rainforest in a matter of minutes. And you won't go hungry on your travels. There's roadside markets with fresh fruits and snacks. And always a barbecue nearby sizzling with chicken, ribs, or seafood. There's been some barbecue chicken. And if you miss the hustle and bustle of city life, you can visit the capital city of St. John, a center for tourist shopping, souvenirs, and even daily traffic jams. Well, that's our last look back on 20 years of Powerboat Television. We hope you've enjoyed the highlights and will stick with us for another 20 years of the best in recreational boating.